Yeah, what's up, you guys? This is Gaston coming back with a special video for you. And I'm actually joined with three special guests today from the top three clan in the world. And, uh, you know, the purpose of this is just to get you guys' opinion about the new update. And, uh, you know, let's just go ahead and just go around and maybe you guys could introduce yourself real quick. Tell me uh, where you're from, how long you've been playing, how you like the game so far. Uh, could we go ahead and start with you, Jan? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm Linguini uh, from King's Rock 32, and uh, I'm from Luxembourg. All right. I'm a, and uh, Cookie? Yeah, I'm. A, they, they call me Cookie because I used to be Hello Cookie 7, but um, now I'm intrepid. And um, I'm from Dallas, Texas, and I've been playing for, I think, about two years, or getting close to two years. And um, I'm addicted. <laughs> All right. So, and Zeng, last one, if you could go ahead and tell us uh, where you're from and everything, how long you've been playing yeah, the game. Sure. Yeah, I'm from Lebanon, and uh, game name is Zengetsu. People call me Zeng. been playing this game since December or January last year. Yeah. So it's almost two years. Yeah. And you guys are all in the same clan, King's Rock? Yeah, I'm afraid yep. so. Afraid so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, uh, so you guys have pretty much seen a lot of updates and you know pretty much how to play the game you guys are all champions um so i mean uh i've been having i've had a blast with the game so far and it's it's been a great ride uh and now we have another update that just came out so what i wanted to do is maybe get your guys's opinion about the update i have it listed in topics we can go down each one as they were updated uh first we had the tesla could you guys maybe give some insight what you think about the new tesla that we got well, I, I personally believe the Tesla's artwork is pretty awesome. I, I think it's uh, it looks pretty neat. Isn't it? Uh, I thought it looked yeah, great. I, I, I thought it looked great, too. Um, it kind of reminded me of when we went from uh, like a three to four on uh, the Expos. Kind of was just a really dynamic looking, it made a big jump. It almost, like, I remember when they had the little red tips on the Expos, everybody was pretty excited to get them. That's kind of how I felt about the Teslas. But... That was just my opinion. Yeah, you know, as I, far as I really have to, as far as when they start hitting, you, I don't, I can't ever tell. It's so much going on. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, I, I really hand it to the to the people at Supercell. They have uh, really good artists, you know. And I think every update they have a new artwork that comes out. It looks awesome. Is so, he I mean, very no, old? No... Yeah. Yeah, he's very old because that looks like a telegram pole from from the last century. Yeah, exactly. That's what I. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean it's pretty good. So, uh, uh, okay. So, do you think that maybe helps defense? Like, uh, how much do you think that helps defense from where it was? Well, they die pretty quickly, to be honest. Not a lot. It it does a lot of damage to the Pekas now. I I could see that uh, I mean, a lot more actually than the Expos. Like Expos don't really do a lot of damage to the Pekas anymore, but the Teslas look like they're really doing something. I mean, Zang, well, here, I've been sorry. Um, yeah, I've been using a Pekka since I started the game. I never changed from that. Yeah, and um, you can see these uh, these Teslas when all four if they're all next to each other and they start zapping those Pekkas, they're gone in a minute. They don't last. Oh, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I mean, we we now, really just did. Just for clarification, need... is it Pika or Pekka? Because I've heard it pronounced so many different. How does Supercell pronounce it? I think it's Pekka. I think I re I remember the the Supercell team uh, said Pekka. It could be you Pekka. know it could be pronounced differently, but that's the way I'm saying it. Someone even actually commented in the comments like what Pekka is, and they said it was like a a guy or something. <laughs> but it's ironic how they call it. Uh, it's a woman, like on the game. Yeah, that's, that's so what I, okay. That's what I thought I heard. <laughs> uh, so we have. We have the new Tesla now, and we, they were also gave us the Valkyries. Could you guys give me your opinions about the Valkyrie? How you like the troops so far with the new change and the new update uh, that they gave to her? Uh, you know, we could go with the Zhang if you want. Okay. Um, I tried them out um, the first few days. They are helpful if you want to clear out buildings, but, but once as soon as they get inside, they're gone instantly. They won't last the, the fight. I, I had four or five of them along with my Pekkas, um, but right now I just rely on my old school system, which is Pekka and Wizards. Pekka and Wizards. They're, so they're, they're much better than the older version. 
especially on Rage, they help out clear out a lot of buildings. But as soon as the expo gets a hold of them, it's over. Oh, the expo! That's exactly I right. See. I was so, say they're very vulnerable to the expo. Yeah. They, they they get they get eaten really fast. It, they're great on the outside edges, but once they get in the inside, if you haven't if you have no free spells, you're you're toast. And they're extremely expensive to cook, to be honest. Um, for such a unit, that's a bit much. What would you guys have done to make the Valkyrie better? Because I was thinking the only way to save the troop was to make it faster, but I was surprised. You know, they, they made it so that you could get between buildings, and I thought that might be a little overpowering, but they're still kind of slow. Do you think that was a, a, an appropriate way to, to change them, or could you have done it better? I think the Valkyrie could use the, sa the same ability as uh, the warrior in uh, Boom Beach, heal herself uh, while she hits something. That would be great. I, I I personally believe that anything it, it needs more more bulk. It's 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 a uh, carrying an axe, so it means it's going to be in the front line of of combat. But yet it's got a archer type of a uh, defense system. So it it seems a little bit out of place. Not bad. I just want to add something. I just want to add something. The thing is, if you want to put them behind the golems, if you throw in the golems as your tanks, they move too quickly and they're already ahead of the golems. And that's when they're vulnerable. Oh, I see. So they're they're kind of fast when they move. They they move faster than golems. Not like wizards, though. Wizards kind of slow and they stay back. Exactly. Yeah, because they're ranged, and um, and obviously Valkyries being a melee unit, they're ob obviously in the front, and that's that's mm -hmm. not going to work. Never. Well, so do you think the Valkyrie so far has been a good change? Like it's uh, something we can use, or does it still need some more fine-tuning? Well, I think they're still pretty much useless, to be honest. I won't use them. No, mm. I, not for me. I tried them in defense uh, uh, once, and sure enough, it, it didn't really make any kind of uh, significant change. I felt like maybe at a different level of gameplay it might work better, but... At this level, it, it, it's they're they're basically the same. Useful. How do you guys feel about uh, using them in a clan castle? Yeah, that works great. Yeah, in you clan castles they do work. That. Is that right? Okay, so they're pretty good in clan in clan castles. So like they do that splash damage. Mhm. Mm yeah. So uh, that that's kind of what I thought too. Like I, I liked how they had them in Clan Castle. You could put them in Clan Castle, and they do do splash damage. They actually do some pretty heavy, uh, pretty heavy damage on heroes now too. Have you noticed that? Yeah, but that's because mine never heroes long are long so weak now. <laughs> okay, I, I well, said that, mine never live long enough to get to the heroes, so I, I'm not <laughs> really sure what they would do to the heroes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that that we're coming up to that. Let's talk about um, let's let's go on to the P.E.K.K.A. now. Uh, the P.E.K.K.A. has been buffed. I haven't really been a fan of the go wipe. I've been more of a go wee wee type of person, but now that the Pekkas have a buff and they're level fives, I'm actually starting to use them now. What do you guys think about the Pekkas? Uh, I guess I've watched Zang attack. Yeah, Z Zang is a special. Going. It's always been there. <laughs> <laughs> Zang, how do you feel about the Pekkas? The, look, the Pekkas have always been fantastic. I mean, to test it out, what I did when the update first came out, I did a few raids on new upgraded bases with the old Pekkas, and they were still doing the same job. Yeah, um, with the new Pekkas, the, the, the good thing about them is the health, the hit points, the 500 extra hit oh, points. Yeah. Adds a lot of value, especially if you've taken out the Teslas and they're not in range, they can really be supportive. And uh, yeah, but level four, level five, those guys are warriors, they go in, they just smash up the base. Well, they like, don't go in, they go around shopping for stuff. Well, yeah. I, mean, yeah. <laughs> I would agree, they're shoppers. They're not, they're not head, headstrong. Yeah. It's, it's, well, what about the, uh, what about the new jump spell? Does that help them out any, or? Yes, definitely. It's, uh, I've, 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 I'm hardly using any wall breakers anymore, just a few, just to uh, open up just one corner. I let them in, and I just jump through the town hall. Town hall can be out between 15, 25 percent, it's out. Hmm. Well, then that brings me to my next question. What do you guys think is the strongest unit in the game? In what sense? Attack? And now, since we've had the update, do you think, because I see a lot of top players using uh, Go Wipe, they have at least two or three P.E.K.K.A.s in their composition, it seems. 
So do you guys think a wee wee is still viable? Do you think it's still a good uh, composition? Yeah, go, I've go even wee seen wee. people using dragons. Yeah, go wee is still viable, pretty much so. Uh, you have to change your army a bit, obviously, because you don't have to lure the heroes anymore. But it's still a very, very strong army. And uh, there's no problem with go wee now. Um, you just have to bring a lot more witches, and that's it. Or even a P.E.K.K.A. if you feel like it. Um, as far as the strongest unit in the game, well, it's always the same, P.E.K.K.A. and drags. Uh, dra dragons are still are still there, um, and Pekas are still incredibly strong. Well, I, I'll tell you what was a real game changer for me is whenever I got golems. I, I would argue not in damage, but their ability to just take a blow, meat shields, without a golem. Uh, the defense systems that are at the top levels just eat away those specialty troops like the the dragon and the Pekka. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so the golem, in my mind, is the most powerful. With if you if you went into battle without your golems in a ground attack, you won't last very long. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You guys usually bring about like uh, three of them, right? Yeah, sure. That's yeah, what I bring. Three. Three. Yeah. Yeah. So Zhang, what do you yeah. feel is the uh, strongest troop composition, or what 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 would you say is your uh, favorite? I just wanted to add something before I go on to this. Uh, I think people are putting more Pekas now into their uh, camp just because the we heroes are slightly, we are actually not slightly, are much weaker than before. So they would need some uh, strong troop to help them support in their attack. What I use for my attack is um, I usually use about six wall breakers just to create an opening. This is just after the update. Um, three Pekas, 23 wizards, and uh, two golems. And for the spells, I go for two rage, one jump, one light, one freeze. Now, you know, the last time I was in your clan, I, I was really impressed because I saw maybe two, it was like two or three members, they were actually using like a mass hog attack, and they pretty much three-starred a lot of players. Do you guys think that this update has probably taken that out of the game, or has it forced people to change their compositions up? Definitely. Well, they're not very happy, to be honest. You know, I looked at it and um, I, I really like read what exactly they did. They just they made it so that the mega bombs are a little stronger on hargs, but they also nerfed the infernal tower so they don't burn troops down as fast. Do you think that kind of balanced it out? No, no. Hogs, Hogs the key to that hard. was luring the heroes. If you didn't get the CC and the the heroes lured out, you had no chance with the hogs. Now they've stopped the luring of the uh, of the heroes. The hogs is an extremely difficult skill to attack now. Yeah. One star, easy, two star, pretty much impossible. Like, and like you the don't balloons think you have can... been historically, like the balloon attacks have been historically a one star attack. You don't ever see people getting three starred with balloons. Correct. But, uh, and you but don't that's kind of how that... the hogs have kind of come into a specialty attack. Mm. So you don't think people could use the hogs in a way where they just take out like a side of the base and then let the heroes clean up the rest? Yes, that is uh, that is still happening. Uh, Hogs will, are still able to to clear um, a very big part of the defense buildings, but with the heroes, uh, non-lurable heroes now, it's very, very hard to get the second star. So they just one star. And for hunters, for trophy hunters, that's just impossible. Well, you know what, with the with the heroes now staying in and not really being able to lure out, I thought um, automatically people that are balloonians that use minions and balloons are just going to love that, you know, because they don't have to worry about the heroes and stuff. Do you think that's probably helped them out or more people using balloonians now, do you think? I mean, um, the, the people that we have that use the loons in our clan are facing difficulty trying to get that two-star that they used to do easily. Is that right? So we yeah, have you get to understand balloon attackers tend to be of a different breed. I, I've noticed in playing the game for a while that they tend to be a little bit more uh, 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 pessimistic, I'd say. <laughs> so it, it doesn't really uh, cause to to be a balloon attacker, how slow it's coming across the base. It, it it's a. Uh, I tried it once or twice. I saw some and it looked really easy, but they're a special breed, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, well, you guys, we've had, uh, I mean, a lot of people. I'm not sure if, if Jan, if you said this last uh, last interview, but you mentioned that, uh, you know, the 
offense is really strong. But yeah. this update, it seems they tried to, you know, balance it out maybe and make it so that it's not so easy to, for you to just win on, uh, you know, on attacks. Do you think that uh, this was good for us to make um, it so that the offense isn't so strong? It goes in the right direction. Obviously, uh, balancing the game was uh, a priority. But uh, I believe there is no way to sugarcoat it. Updates, balance, tweaks are partially or mostly based on the feedback Supercell is getting from the community. And with this update, we can at least wonder what kind of feedback uh, are getting from us. Um, nerfing the most expens expensive unit in this game, I believe, was a mistake. Boosting defense uh, would have been uh, a lot easier to take. Okay, so you're saying they should probably just boost the defense. Hmm, sounds interesting. What do you think, Intrepid? I personally like the uh, the unknown. <laughs> I kind of like keeping it spicy and mixed up. And um, I, I still, I'm more of a, I'm kind of one of the players that just uh, just drops the troops and lets it go and see what happens. And I know that there's getting to be more and more skilled players, and um, that I'm okay with that. I still enjoy myself, but. Um, the, the top players are becoming more and more skilled in understanding the damage per uh, swing and or shot. Mm. It's just getting a lot more of a skilled game, it, it, as opposed to like at the lower levels, you just drop troops and let it go. I, and even at exactly, levels, yeah, that's what I was. That. I was thinking that too. Yeah, it takes more skill now, and I appreciate that. You know, I, I like it so that you can't just do that. You know, you have to actually think about what you're doing. Yeah, yep. there is actually skill to it now. It used to be just a little game; you just drop troops and let them go. Yeah. The the one thing I have noticed is that this is I'm I'm still testing this out, but the way I used to do it was I would drop all my troops first, and then if they can get to the uh to the town hall, they can clear that out for me. Then I would drop my heroes. But now it seems that um I have to drop my heroes with my troops. Have you guys had that kind of problem too where you have to actually use heroes with your troops or do you I save have to them? use heroes every time. I know some guys are experts and don't ever use them but ever so often but my heroes are workhorses. <laughs> <laughs> I do with I mean I think now with update you need to use the heroes. It sort of balanced it out. They were too strong before. Yeah, and now you have to be quite smart about it. A uh, good tactic that I found is having the queen piggyback behind the king. Because she can be gone in an instant if she gets caught in the crossfire. So that's one strategy that I'm using that protects her more behind the king and the golems. Um, but you definitely need them because they they really help you at least get that one star uh, in the, while attacking. I would I would say the special abilities of the king and queen, the new special ability. I mean, they seem to be very much more enhanced. Uh, yeah, and that's great to be honest. I, I love it. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think that 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 was a very very good choice. We, yep. We oh, we wish so we is... more seconds on the queen's ability though. <laughs> yeah, please. Oh, you're right, right. <laughs> At least five, <laughs> five seconds. Yeah. So I mean, we've we've touched a lot of things about the update, you know, and I I like I think there's more positive things than there are negative with the community is thinking. But could you guys tell me like what do you think you would like to see in future updates, or or could you give me your final thought on things that uh, you know, your impressions about the update. Can I go first? <laughs> yeah, sure. sure, go ahead. I mean, I'll tell you this because I've been wanting this for the past maybe year and a half. I've always wanted the wizard hero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have talked about that forever. Oh, well, man. Instead, it's a wizard hero coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, not before they get my goblin hero. <laughs> I, I would say that I just like a whole mix of different things. I'd like to see another air troop or something that the whole air attack seems kind of cool to me, but I can't do the dragons or uh, the balloons, but I'd like to have an option for the air attack that would be besides the ground attack. So I guess if for new content, I would, uh, I'd, I'd want more air troops. Oh, not bad. Okay. And Jan, uh, your final thoughts, anything you have to say about the update and things maybe look forward to in the future? Well, um, I'm not sure about the super George Michael hero Zangons. Um, <laughs> not sure that's going to benefit the game, but more more troops, yeah, more more content, more troops, less less tweaks, less less balance. Now it's done. Let's move on and new new things. 
quick. All right. Well, you know what, you guys, I I really enjoy this update also, and um, hopefully, you know, they could just bring some more content and stuff that's more innovative. I I like the Tesla, I like the Peck, and I'm probably going to be switching to Go Wipe now. But uh, yeah, it's been a pretty good I, update. But I would also like to say uh, there there has to be some kind of like a <laughs> someone on Global told me this the other day that he would like to be able to pick people off a of Global and attack them. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> the supercell right could there. ever grant me one wish is that I could have three free attacks at any time I could use off a of Global. I would attack all of you all the time. That wouldn't be fun. <laughs> no, you only get three in the life of your account, though. You only get three. Oh, man, I would use it oh, in, wow. in one <laughs> one evening. <laughs> <That'd be fun. laughs> just, a, just a quick question. Have you guys had any problems with the heroes in, in terms of AI or the way they maneuver? Have you seen any difference in them? No, the queen is still uh, just as dumb as before. She's still yeah, small for no reason, yeah, so I it's agree. okay. I don't really see her using the jump spell, you know? Like, I've tried putting a jump sp a jump spell right there, but she still goes for walls. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever is close to her. She loves them. <laughs> it's incredible. She, she loves their yeah. defenses still. She she will sit there and be hammered by about five cannons while she shoots at her air defense with no air troops around. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she she does have some kinks she needs to work out. But the problem, the, the thing that I would like to see maybe in a future uh, thing, in a future update, is actually a problem I've had before this update. If you notice, like, uh, the queen, when she attacks walls, or um, usually it's walls, but you'll notice she does a flinch or she'll uh, misfire. And sometimes when that happens, that's like... Uh, that's like an extra second or something off of your attack. So that does become an issue if if she's doing that. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that problem. Oh, I'm way too dumb heroes. to have noticed that. Yeah, but at 49% oh, yeah. <laughs> you start looking, and that makes a difference if you stop at 49% yeah. on somebody. Yeah, it does, yeah. If, so that's the only thing I could think of. If, if you want to make the queen go through the jump spell, she's always the last one and the slowest because she's shooting the buildings around. Clear out the area, and she'll just jump straight in. Yeah, I, I saw that happen a few times, and I really, I'm like, why isn't she jumping? And then I just noticed she was shooting the buildings around it. So once you clear those, she just jumps in immediately. Mm -hmm. So you guys haven't had any problems with the new uh, update? Like you guys haven't been losing a lot, or have you just been able to adjust right away? It took me uh, a clan war, two raids, and then I understood that I sucked at go wipe, so I went back to go away. And it went just fine. All right, so you still go wee wee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I mean, I think I think people are using the same troops. They're just adjusting the different strategies because of the different uh, the weak, how the heroes have become weaker. But pretty much everyone's using the same troops. It's just they've just tweaked their attack. What do you guys okay. think about the um, the complaints on the forums about the heroes? Like, are they are they valid? A lot of people think that, you know, when they nerf the king, he's a little too weak, and the heroes are a little bit easier to kill now, and, you know, it's a little harder. What do you, what do you think about the people on the forums, their, their uh, concerns? I, I personally believe in any game, as long as it's the exact same across the board, <laughs> as long as my level 35 hero is fighting like your level 35 hero, it's a fair game. They can nerf it forwards, backwards, sideways, as long as it's doing it for everybody. There's really no... I, I don't understand the complaints, to be honest with you. And uh, I will okay. add that you cannot... Um, you cannot want balance. You cannot you, you cannot claim that the game is not balanced and why when they nerf offense. That's not going to work. The game was, was imbalanced. Now it's a bit better. I think they... I think the king, the heroes are still a bit too weak, maybe, but really that's not an issue. Uh, good players still win uh, the raids, no problem. Oh, nicely said, nicely said. And Zhang, any final thoughts? Um, I think I think it's good. Um, it brings fair play to the game. Defense has a better chance to win. I mean, if in the in the past you'd rely so much on your heroes, they can wipe out at least thirty percent, if not more, of the base. And now you really have to place them properly and strategically, or else you're gone. If if you lose them early at the game, it's over. And before they would they would be able to take a lot of hits and keep going. So I like it. I'm really it's good. 
I'm really surprised. You know, I thought uh, the from the forums, everyone felt the same. You know, I thought it was going to be a whole, you know, slaughter, supercell kind of, we hate the hero now. But I'm, I'm surprised you guys feel differently about the game and the update's been a positive impact, not only on you, but maybe perhaps other top clans where they can separate now skill from just spam. You know what I mean? So um, Exactly. Yeah, I think that's a game changer and that's welcomed, really. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but you know what? I want to thank you guys for uh, you know having the interview with me, for checking me out, and for just discussing your uh, your thoughts about the update. And hopefully, you know, we get some more cool stuff coming out for sure. us uh, in the near future. Well, all right. Um, if we could go down Jan and then Intrepid, maybe Zane, if you give your final thoughts, maybe a shout out to whoever it is you want to shout out to, and then we'll go ahead and end it here. Come on, Zane first. <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Zane. Well, I just want to shout out to everyone that Kings Rock I mean, is a great family, a great bunch of people. I mean, I've, I've, I've grown to have some closest friends in my life in this game. And these two who are, who are with us in this interview <laughs> are just two maniacs I can't live without every day. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a good yeah. time to play with every day. I'm sorry, I had to step away for a second, but okay, <laughs> yeah. I had a shout out for, for uh, I had a shout out for Justin and Rob and uh, Nick down in King's Dungeon. Uh, someone told me they'd be like schoolgirls if I said their names. So oh my God. school <laughs> girls on. Um, uh, yeah, uh, shout out to all King Kings Rock clans, and uh, well, um, no, that's it really. I've, I've done I've done it before, so it's okay. Thank you again. Uh, you guys, this has been Godson interviewing Kings Rock, and thank you guys very much. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for your time. All right.